Okay, my name's Rick Workentine from Morden. Um, I love motorcycles and uh, I picked up this bike. Um, well, I bought it probably a year ago, picked it up this summer. Uh, it's a 1975 manufactured in November of 74 here in town. It was kept in storage for many years and uh, it's a nine, yeah, 1975 Yamaha 100 RS. And uh, this is the shape that it was in. Well, the tank was dusty and the seat is, needs to be redone. But, uh, but um, I did get the thing running. Uh, thanks to help from good friends. Uh, the first project was to, uh, to uh, take the tank off and uh, get it cleaned out. And uh, we removed chunks of coating that somebody else had done before me. Um, and uh, it was peeling and uh, so I took it to uh, to my good friend slash neighbor Chaz Peters and we started stripping the inside of the tank and we tried all kinds of things from gun wash to a special uh, compound solution that he had water and uh, borax and that didn't seem to do it electrolysis electrolysis and uh, and I had gun wash and he had acetone and it seemed like the acetone did a lot better than gun wash and uh, then he used muriatic acid and uh, he had a chemical from Canadian Tire once everything was stabilized and uh, we put this chemical in and swished it around and swished it around and swished it around and uh, eventually it came out and it looks very good inside. So I didn't want to start the, the bike until I knew that the oil pump was working properly. This is a two-stroke, single-cylinder two-stroke. And uh, so another friend of mine by the name of Ray Letkeman came over and uh, he said, Oh yeah, testing the oil pump is not a problem. And, uh, but I didn't want to start the bike and I didn't want to mix oil and fuel. So anyhow, he comes over and uh, we take the side cover off where the oil pump is and uh, he's got a little hand drill with a hockey puck that's machined down and a sort of a rubber inner tube glued around it and he said, you hold that and I'm going to count how many times the plunger goes back and forth. He said, we have to do two, two tests, one at idle and one at full throttle. And so, so anyways, um, he uh, counted the, the strokes, the plunger went in and out up to a hundred times and we measured the oil in a syringe and uh, he said, yes, everything should work. So then it came time to start it up. Uh, we don't have an electric start on this thing, so I got on here and I kicked. And you would think that you had to kick forever because it hadn't run for I don't know how many years prior. But I borrowed a fuel tank, a little fuel tank that Chaz Peters had rigged up and I connected it to the fuel filter and uh, got fuel going. My, the old fuel filter was leaking so I had to get a rag and uh, I didn't put on a different fuel filter, I just started it up the way it was. And, uh, and it probably in likely half a dozen to a dozen kicks it was running and uh, I took pictures of it going and so so I was really excited and happy about that and uh, so now I plan on tearing it all apart cleaning it uh, I was I did notice on the video I had some sparks happening where they shouldn't be happening and I think my rear taillight switch was shorting out it was broken and it was shorting out on something and uh, so so that's on order. It was supposed to be here in five days, five working days. And uh, needless to say, I went back after a week, a uh, week and a half, and it's supposed to be here the end of November. But it's probably a Chinese make knockoff. And uh, so it's, uh, I'm pretty excited. Yes, it's a small bike, but uh, I love motorcycles and, uh, and the old plate is on it. And I, I know the guy that the the I think the original owner and uh, it has the dealership sticker still on it and I sent it I know the guy that owned the dealership 
And I sent him a picture of it and he was quite amazed. He said, where did you find a relic like that? And, uh, and so it was bought, purchased at Circle F Sports here in Morden, who they were a fair size Yamaha dealership. And uh, so, uh, so yeah. And, uh, and um, I don't know the tires. The tires are virtually brand new. I went to Wildwood Sports to inquire about buying a seat for it and they gave me a, an upholsterer's name in St. Boniface I believe it is uh, that he said that they would he would uh, put a, all the letter letters on it that was the letters the Yamaha letters at the back and uh, he would do up everything and uh, so the seat shouldn't be a problem and uh, and he didn't seem to be that backlogged and so I'm I'm looking forward to to tearing it apart and uh, and uh, getting her going. So I believe that's it for the Yamaha. Thank you very much. How long do you think it's going to take you to finish? Is this going to be done next year? Yes, it will be done next year. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, it'll definitely be done before World of Wheels, if World of Wheels is happening because I need to bring my 1942-45 Harley-Davidson in here because last year I had it registered for World of Wheels but it was cancelled so I thought well I might try it again this spring in March, the end of March so this one has to be done before March. The tiddler tour. <laughs> yeah, yes. You have to bring it to the tiddler right there. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, looking forward to it. What's the top speed on these things? I wouldn't have any idea. Okay. I would imagine, well, my guess would be 45, 50 maybe miles an hour. Miles yeah. an hour. I'd but say at least that. It's yeah, with a big guy like me, it, yeah. uh, maybe I'm high expectations. But, uh, but yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No, it's a, a nice find, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to hearing it. I love the two strokes. Yeah. Well, I had this place smoked up in a big hurry. <laughs> I, had, I was coughing and sputtering and uh, <laughs> had to open the doors. Yeah, I believe it. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much. It was uh, nice seeing it. Thank you.